What kind of mix did we use on here? Morning, friends. Well, today is the day I've been waiting for. Been in contact with the concrete batch plant. The pump truck is on its way and I got butterflies in my stomach. Got a lot riding on this and I'm hoping everything is gonna treat me well today. I think I got everything covered, so we're gonna find out. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Uh, the whole thing should be less than two hours. It's gonna be 15 yards. We're pouring 15 yards today. I'm excited. I'm real excited. So I hired a pump truck to come in and do the pumping of the 15 yards of concrete. I must say right off the bat, this is one amazing machine and what I paid, it's worth every penny. But to break it down, at the end of the video, I show the, the list of uh, charges uh, for the pump truck and what. And what you don't know is that there's a four hour minimum and I'm willing to accept that. And there's also travel time and then there's a mileage charge and I'm you know one of the disadvantages of living way up here in the north it was 85 miles one direction for this uh, gentleman to come out then there's a cleaning charge and there's a pump per yard charge so your project may not be as much as mine a lot of variables play in this it's one amazing machine because moving concrete mud is heavy stuff what I paid I believe it's worth every penny at this point, the ready mix driver has been informed that we're looking to get a six inch slump and he has the ability to add water and he has a chart and he knows how many gallons per yard to get that six inch slump. So he's doing that right now, mixing it all up and, uh, and then he'll get ready to dump in the back of the pump truck. Most concrete trucks will leave the batch plant with a slump of four inch. Concrete pump operator Joe does an amazing job keeping that mud right where it needs to be. You will see us constantly running up and down the ICF wall with a handheld concrete vibrator. This is preventing concrete bridging and honeycomb voids. This is quite common with a six inch slump. You might ask, why don't I just increase my slump to seven or eight? That would do two things. First, it would increase form side pressure, raising the risk of a blowout. Second, it would lower the concrete PSI strength. My project calls for a concrete mix of 3,500 PSI strength at a six inch slump. If I was to raise the slump to a seven inch, my PSI strength would drop to around 3,000 PSI. I'm not willing to sacrifice concrete strength for easier concrete flowability. This is an example of about a six inch slump. Slump is measured from the top of the cone to the top of the concrete pile. Pump operator Joe is moving right along. His pump truck is pumping about one cubic yard less than three minutes. Right around three minutes or less, he's really moving. You can see as we vibrate a section of the ICF, we stick it all the way down and then take it right back out. We don't loiter down there uh, for any length of time. If you were, it would separate the heavy rocks would fall to the bottom and all the soup would come to the top.
that's it for the first truck. The first truck of eight yards is empty. And now they're taking the time to, to uh, back out the first truck and then uh, bring in the second concrete truck. All right, the trucks have been swapped out and the pump truck is ready to go again. I bumped your camera. Better check it, I bumped it. All right, looks good. That's my friend Paul there. I gotta thank Paul for taking half his day and helping me out on this project. Really appreciate that, Paul. I watched the entire time lapse and I counted the amount of times that Joe made the loop around the ICF wall and it was three loops. He did the uh, pour in three loops. We're now working on the stairwell area. We want to make sure that when the pump truck does run out, we don't run out uh, and short ourselves on this stairwell. This stairwell area needs to be finished. And uh, so we're going to concentrate on that. I have a lot of concerns because this is my own design, topping off ICFs with the solid protrusion of concrete. I'm well pleased it turned out really well. That's it right there. The mixer truck is empty. We're done pumping and that's 52 minutes. And that includes about a 15 minutes swapping out the concrete trucks. Not bad. We did the concrete pour, everything is good. I'm working on the uh, stairway entry and uh, I've been waiting for this to set up enough to where I could uh, finish it. It's just, it's still a little bit uh, wet, but uh, I'm getting it close. All right, friends, we're gonna to start to strip these forms off of here. Look at that 45, I'm loving it. Well pleased. All right, we're down to the last form. Looks good. Okay, friends, looking at a happy camper here. Two days ago, we did the concrete pour for the ICF walls and the stairwell system. So let's take a closer look. You can see the beveled edges on the concrete. I put in triangle pieces of wood to get that effect. And I really like how it looks. It uh, really makes the job look professional. A six inch drop down now where the stairway begins. And that whole top piece is designed to receive a Bilco storm cellar hatch. You can see the wood, the pressure treated header that I have in the end down there. That is for the stair stringers. So a lot of people ask me uh, what type what grade of concrete, what kind of mix did we use on here? They called it a 6A, grade 6A, which is one inch minus, meaning not much more, everything is should be one inch or less, but occasionally you might get an inch and a quarter. And uh, they add extra sand for uh, increasing the flowability. And uh, so 
I went on their word. Um, the pump truck, uh, you know, he's got to pump it, and um, I rely on his experience and, and what kind of rock he pumps and what he can pump and what works good for the ICFs. So I did not go with the 3 8 rock that the uh, engineering manual suggests. I went with the grade 6A with extra sand, which is one inch minus rock. And um, you can see it turned out very well, extremely well. The ICFs, no issues doing the pour, no blowouts. Once again, this is Steve from Pure Michigan Living. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video.